Now let us look at the green open axis. What does this mean? It's quite different from the gold open axis because here the contracts are completely different. It involves a lot of legal procedures. The authors who have given their papers in the green open axis would have underwent a certain legal proceedings uh, before they can give their work into such kind of sources. Exploitation or using of the papers that are in the green open axis will be permitted only with legal, uh, you know, with the proper legal formalities. For that, we need to understand the author's contract. So without understanding the author's contract, the terms and conditions, we will not be able to use the work or even cite the work of this author or the, 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 the paper which you have read through the green op open access. The embargo period is different uh, according to the publication or the publication houses. Well, embargo period means the period in which the journal was first published and before the early versions were actually uh, made available in the open access. So this is called as the embargo period. For those of you who are deeply engrossed in preparing your literature review, uh, you need to understand that the difference between the two axes, particularly because you will be contributing for, you know, you'll be contributing papers and it's uh, good you actually check the list that is, you know, available, the list of journals for green access and the list of journals for open access. This is just a little bite.